Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 28, Week 3, Round 2. My name is Bomafet. I'm currently 3 and 4, having narrowly lost the last round. Let's see who my opponent is this round. Chris Rude. Let's go to the hotbot for a quick comparison. Alright, so you can see there's just a little bit more red on Chris's side than there is green on my side, but let's zoom in and take a closer look. This top section is GAC stats, and you can see in the old system, Chris Rude was more of an indifferent GAC player. Only 41k best score, just over 700k lifetime banners, but they do have a higher current score than I have. Their ratio of defense to offensive wins is very low, which means that Chris Rude may play a very offense-heavy game, and in looking at the GAC history, I see that Chris has not set any Galactic Legends on defense in 3v3. At least, not so far. The roster summary shows that our overall GP is within 100,000 of each other, but Chris has almost 250,000 more GP in the top 80. The roster summary shows that our overall GP is within 100,000 of each other, but Chris has almost 250,000 more GP in the top 80. I've got 8 more Zetas applied. Chris actually has more Omis applied, but a few of these are TW. Our speed added at the top of the roster is very, very close. Chris has 29 more Gear 13 characters. I have 10 more Gear 12 and 10 more gear 11 and above. Chris has 36 more 6 stop mods, but I do have more mods with high speed secondaries, although it is a very small advantage. Chris does have a very large relic advantage, 532 relic levels to 303, so over 200 relic levels more, and that includes an advantage of 37 tier 7 and 8 to my 14. In the Galactic Legends, Chris has a 3 to 2 advantage, and like I said, GAC history shows him using all three on offense in 3v3. The key characters and important ships shows us a few important things. First of all, we each have a 7 star executor. GAC history shows that Chris uses his executor on offense. We can also see that Chris does not have Maul, and his Bad Batch Echo is still level 1 gear 1. Now because Chris saves so much for offense, I decided to change up my defense again, so let's go back to the board and take a look at that. Okay, so in the top zone, we've got Poggle, Beskar Mando, Maul, Sith Triumvirate, and Fin Fin Po. In the bottom zone, Grievous, Darth Revan, Qui-Gon Jinn, Savage Malik. I had been putting this in the back zone, I moved it to the front, and General Skywalker on defense for the first time this 3v3. What I'm hoping to do with this front zone is draw out his Galactic Legends. If I can get him to use his Galactic Legends in the front zone, you'll see I've got a surprise waiting for him in the back zone here. Jedi Master Luke. Now it's not a great comp, but if he uses his Galactic Legends in the front zone, it's still going to give him problems. We also have Newt, Hux, Night Sister Cheese, and Dash Rendar. And in the fleet zone, since he uses his executor on offense, and he can usually get a 72 to 74 against the opponent's executor, I figured I might as well save my executor for offense. So I've got Thrawn, the Finalizer, and the Home One back here. We've got just under two hours left in the attack phase, so let's take a look at the board. Chris Rude has not attacked yet. So let's take a look at his defense. We've got Sidious, Dooku, Geonosians, Grievous, and Karth. In the bottom zones, we have Mothma, Shakti, Bosk, Mandalorians, and Talzin. Now against Talzin in 3v3, I usually do first order with Watt, 
but this is a very highly relic Night Sister squad. In fact, this squad gets a lot of holds for Chris. So instead, I am going to use Jedi Knight Luke. with Hermit Yoda and Watt. We're going to put the weapons tech onto Luke so that the Night Sisters can't revive. We'll call the mass assist. And now let's stun them. We're going to put the health tech on to Yoda. Give the master's training to Luke. Oh, why am I attacking the zombie? I should be attacking Talzin. Okay, she died from dots, so that's why she could be resurrected. But now she can't. Okay, there's a taunt over there again. I love that Luke has the dispel on basic. We'll go ahead and put Master's Training on Watt. Go ahead and get rid of the taunt. We'll stun them again. And there they go. 67. Against Mon Mothma, I am going to take in Iden Versio. Okay, we are going to do this. And now we're going to try and stun Biggs. We didn't get the stun, he'll hit back, okay. Now we've got this back and forth. We're going to go after Wedge, actually. He's usually squishier. We want to try and kill him with the uh, third ability, the terminate ability. Uh, let's just get rid of him. Okay, the terminate ability here. Now he can't be revived. One of my viewers pointed out that even if it's the first kill of the match, that terminate ability prevents revive. So you're not getting the death mark, but it doesn't matter. Terminate prevents revive. So I just had not been reading the kit carefully enough, and I missed that. Uh, I may have to put this on auto, actually, in order to get through him. All right, 57 there. Against the Shock Clones, we're going to go with Wedge, Han, and Chewie here.
and I'm actually going to try and burn through Rex twice really quickly. So we'll get the sacrifice, it'll make him a super clone, but we're going to try and take him down as quickly as we can. Or maybe we won't because we've got a taunt over there. just going to go back over to fives because we got him low-ish. And we lost Chewie. This is going to be a loss. Alright, that was terrible. Probably should have used Wedge Han and Chewie here against Boss one of my top offensive teams I just burned. Let's go here with... My boss and Grief are both faster than his boss. We just gotta hope that his boba doesn't delete someone. He will roar. Mass attack. Oh, a stun there would have been really nice. See, there's Contract. I don't have... I've got Ability Block. Okay. That's not great. Oh my gosh! That's what I was afraid of. All right, this is a loss. All right, let's go against the Mandalorians with the Imperial Troopers. Do the punch punch. AOE, punch punch. Beautiful. Oh, they're going after Dark Trooper. More punch punch. Come on, assist Dark Trooper. There we go. Okay. My guys are dazed, so they didn't get the additional turn meter. There's Beskar on her, so she's going to counter-attack now. Oh, come on. There we go. Got the days on her, and we lost Veers. Fifty two banners is terrible. Against the Bosque squad. I could try my JTR, but it's going to be under-geared. I don't know that it's going to be able to do it. My BB-8's only gear 12. Wiggle and wave. Let's try and get a stun here. Beautiful. Let's get rid of Boba. Another stun is awesome.
Uh, let's do this. Go for another stun. Nope. Another wiggle. He's still got ability block. So I'm just going to attack here. Let's remove his turn meter. Nice stun on Dengar. You don't see that very often. Let's get rid of this guy. Come on. There we go. Let's hide the droids. Oh, we can't because of Dengar. Darn it. Wave that down. I couldn't tell that Dengar was in stealth because of the uh, because of the stun on him. Illuminated Destiny. I did it again. I can't believe I've done that twice now. Burn them again. Remove turn meter. Okay, bye bye, boss. We do have tenacity down on him, so maybe we can get a stun. We don't have tenacity down anymore. He's got tenacity up, so I don't think we can stun him. Oh no! Right at the end we lost BB-8. 33. And against the shop clones... Let's go Jedi Revan. get rid of Rex, so we're going to kill him twice. That's the plan, at least. Call Yoda. Okay, there's one. We got the sacrifice. Now he's super clone, I know, but... That's okay. About to go boom. He just proc savior. Oh, one more hit. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, and he killed Jolie. What a jerk. with her healing. Okay, there we go. This has been really rough so far. He's got such high relics on his characters that it's just taking me too long to get them down and they're doing damage against my squads. Not a good first zone. In the back, Qui-Gon Jinn, Akbar, Cad Bane, Newt, and Ewoks. Okay, so against Qui-Gon, 
So I'm going to take Jedi Master Kenobi. And I'm going to throw Mace Windu in there. I think the two of them can probably do this. I hope the two of them can do this. We're going to go straight after Anakin. Um... Just do a basic here. Get rid of that foresight. Uh, let's. Oh, well, she's got foresight too. So let's just do this. Goodbye, Anakin. Goodbye, Qui Gon. Fifty-eight. Probably could have soloed that. Chirpa has his Omicron, but I don't believe that prevents Nest from soloing them. Jump to the front zone. And we're going to go against Grievous with Wampa. One of my viewers reminded me recently that Wampa can take out Grievous. So thank you to that viewer. up our damage. And 58 there. We'll go EP Vader against the Geonosians. Crush, Merciless. We only got three debuffs there. Let's see if it's enough. Yes, it was. Basic. Basic. Force Crush. Goodbye. Not quite. Wow. All right, let's see if we can stun. Done again. More debuffs. And 57. Against Dooku, I'm going to take Padme with Cat. Dooku in the face. Beautiful. Okay, Dooku's gone. We'll spin up our extra protection. We got retribution. It's three turns away from the insta kill. So we're just going to be. Hitting Droidica for no reason. And... Goodbye, Droidica. Damage immunity does not stop the insta-kill. 56. 
Okay, against Karth. I'm going to go with Shock Clones. Okay, we're going to put the turret on Echo. Get rid of the taunt and mission. Oh, I should be targeting card. That's okay. Now that we've got him low, we might as well go after him, right? Okay, 57 there. Against Sidious, we're going to go CLS. Uh, let's put the confuse. Put the confuse over here. We'll blind them. Go after Sidious. Blind again. Oh, Darth Maul, you don't seem to be able to blind. I don't know why not. Let's clean him up. We'll put some cues over here. And 56. Against Newt, I am going to go with my own Geonosians. Okay, and the reason I did Geos is because I can cleanse the extortion and my guys will still attack on that turn. Like this. See if we can yeet Poggle. Beautiful. Uh, let's go for the heal. Baby the extortion. This is a thick sun fact, wow. Let's get rid of new. Okay, we'll pay the extortion. Uh, I'm going to hold off on the big hit because I want to get around to another heal. Here we go. Here's another heal. And 57. I'm going to do a Bounty Hunter Mirror Match with Boba, Fennec, and Zam. I've got my Fennec up to Relic as a future Lord Vader counter. I need to get her a little bit higher in Relics for that to work. I also need to remod her. Right now I've got her modded for survivability instead of damage. Yeet!
a 54. Doesn't feel like that should have been so low banners. And we're going to go Bastila with Old Ben and Ahsoka. Just the other day, I took Ezra up to Relic. So I will have one more Relic Jedi to use. That's going to give me more flexibility. They're going to be generating a lot of turn meter. Big hit. Ability block. Beautiful. Oh, but it got cleansed. Let's taunt. Stun is nice. And by Rolo, now she's back. We'll kill her again as quickly as we can. We are almost through my bonus protection on a couple of characters. Ability blocks, beautiful. Okay, let's get rid of this guy now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Taunt again. The stun is beautiful. Oh, brought her back again. Okay, let's let's just get rid of Captain Han. Ooh, almost threw my old Ben. That's not good. Stay alive, old man. Stay alive. He did not. I could be in trouble here. Okay, there we go. So another one that's going to be terrible banners. I did not respect the Omicron. Luckily, it was not a double Omicron here, it was just Akbar. Wow, terrible. 52. Well, that was really rough. Hopefully he struggles with my defense as much as I've struggled with his. Against the Negotiator, we'll take our Executor. We'll go straight after Anakin. I'm going to put the Taunt on the Y-Wing, or the Breach, rather. Um, let's do this. Oh, see, I was hoping not to kill Anakin there. I didn't want him getting that second round of... Uh, what do you call it? Unending loyalty? Ship Savior? We'll bring in this guy. Okay, they brought in a second taunt. Let's get rid of Anakin.
Plo Koon. They don't really have an offensive threat on the field right now. There goes the Y Wing. We'll bring in Boba. Drop the big bomb. Okay, 73. Against the home one, we'll take our negotiator. I'm going to try and put buff immunity on Biggs to keep him from taunting. And now we're going to go after the Y-Wing. Okay, Y-Wing's down. Good, 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 good. Uh, we'll bring in Plo for some healing. And we'll drive turn meter. Can we get him down before the reinforcement? No. Ooh, big hit from the Phantom. Seventy-one. And we'll do our malevolence here. Okay. There's the burning. Got the sun. Put buzz droids on them. And bring in the spy, see who we get to taunt on. Goodbye, shuttle. That's not so bad. Put buzz droids back over here again. Come on, I need some assist. There we go. Go after Vader next. Goodbye, Vader. Buzz droid. One more hit ought to do it. It's 68. All right, well, full clear, but that was a rough one. I really struggled against some of those squads. Relic levels definitely do make a difference. I hear other streamers say all the time that it doesn't really matter. It matters. It matters a lot. Relic levels and mods. Relic levels and mods. But I did set a much improved defense, so hopefully Chris Rude can't just walk right through my D. Maybe I can catch him with that GL in the back. Fingers are crossed. He's got about 46 minutes left in the attack phase, so we'll come back in an hour and see what he does against my D. All right, so there is the win against Chris Rude. Let's see what he did against my defense. Only one zone cleared. So in this bottom zone, he had to take two battles against Gas 
and two battles against DR. So I think what he did was he first attacked Qui-Gon, and I think he used a Galactic Legend there. He attacked Grievous next, then he dropped battles against Gas and DR, and then he used his other GLs, I think, against Gas and DR or against Gas and Malik, something like that. But he used all three GLs up front, which is what I was hoping would happen. So then he got to the back, he took a try against Jedi Master Luke, and he couldn't win there, and so he just gave up. He had more than a half hour left to continue attacking, but once he had dropped three battles, and I think he had nothing left where he could clear Jedi Master Luke, so he decided not to continue. So my defensive strategy worked, very happy about that. I'm not very happy about how poorly I did on offense. Yes, I got the full clear, but I had some drop battles that I shouldn't have. And it comes down to not sticking to my plan. His defense was exactly what I was expecting. And I had a plan laid out, and then I didn't follow it. My original plan was Jedi Knight Revan against Shock T, and then Wedge Han and Chewie against Boss. And had I done that, I wouldn't have dropped those two battles. Now granted, a few of my other battles were kind of rough, I mean I barely beat Akbar, but I would have had more flexibility in changing up my plan if I needed to, if I had not dropped those two battles initially. So it's kind of a fine line. You have to be flexible. But when I have a plan that I've spent a couple of hours putting together in scouting and in figuring out the counters, I should stick to that. As long as the defense is what I was expecting, there's no reason for me to change up my plan then. So no doubt, I will do the same thing again. I will end up making a plan and then not sticking to it. I mean, there have been times when I have not stuck to my plan and it's actually worked out probably better than my plan would have. Sometimes you get into the game and you see things that you didn't see on SWGOH.GG. So I'm not going to beat myself up too much about this. I did get the win. I didn't have as much for offense as I normally do because I set that heavy defense. And this does give me a little confidence going forward that I can set a heavier defense and still full clear on offense. So I think that's going to help me going forward in 3v3. Certainly having the second GL makes a huge difference. So I'd like to thank Chris Rude for the match. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I will see you next round.